Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Solana Soul. We see right now at $147.34, a 1.38% increase in just the last 24 hours. Solana is doing insanely, insanely well. If we take a look at the last week, you can see that we did have a decrease. We did have a little bit of resistance at that 167, 170 mark, and we did come back down to about $147 with the rest of the market. We saw the rest of the market kind of struggling in this last week. If we actually take a look at the rest of the market, in the last week you can see that you know bitcoin went up but altcoins not so much you can see a lot of red in the market when it comes to altcoins and solana unfortunately 11.79 percent of a decrease as well and uh you know that's one thing that to really we're going to take a look at today we're going to see why that was and we're going to talk about some of the hype in the news that is regarding this solana bull market and why we think solana could still do big things by the end of it if we take a look at the last month, we're seeing about a 17.63% decrease, and Solana is going to need some help to actually continue this push up. Thankfully, there is a lot going on with Solana still. Solana is not done with its push quite yet. If we take a look back at Solana on Twitter, there really is you know a ton of different tweets that can, we can jump into, but I'm going to jump into just kind of some of the more important ones. To start off, more and more Web3 infrastructure is launching on Solana. So you can see here another project talking about community and working and utilizing Solana's ecosystem. One thing I want to mention before we get too far into this is if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with crypto every single day. We talk about different cryptocurrencies, whether it's Solana, Polkadot, Chainlink, Cardano, VeChain. Every single day we talk about them. So make sure, like I said, subscribe to the channel. We jump over to the next one. We see as the Solana ecosystem grows, so does the need for better data tools and analytics. So to help builders understand which data users need, they had a survey that people were able to fill out and get that information out there to the Solana Foundation. We can also see FTX built by traders. For traders, the Solana NFT marketplace is live on FTX US. And they talk about how to deposit NFTs to FTX. And by the way, FTX is booming. You know, this is one of those exchanges I do expect to continue to do very, very well in the upcoming weeks and you know months ahead. As we take a look at the next really tweet here it talks about serum as a core liquidity infrastructure layer on solana continues to undergo upgrades to the dex and order book architecture to meet developers changing needs and users demands in the spirit what has serum been up to in q3 or really q3 or q4 and check out the uh you know list below so they talk about the list of things that serum has been doing obviously another project that is continuing to make Solana's ecosystem more utility friendly and uh, user friendly here. As we continue to take a look, you know, there's more updates to Phantom as well. If you guys don't know much about the Phantom wallet, and then you probably haven't used Solana too much quite yet. So Phantom is the leading industry and community source user protection while still providing mechanism for advanced users to make their own choices. You can see that Phantom is probably one of the most popular choices when it comes down to wallets for Solana. I do want to talk about one thing before we get too far into some of the Solana news though. If you go into my Twitter, which is CryptoProfitYT on Twitter, you'll be able to see that I am holding a giveaway. So 40 link to be given away at the end of October if we hit $40 chain link by then. So all you have to do is retweet and follow to be entered, which is a big deal. You know, I want a lot of people to hopefully take advantage of this. Um, you know, I do think $40 chain link by the end of October is still definitely a possibility. I know right now the market's looking kind of rough, but you know, as we look at chain link, if we take a look real quick, um, if we can find chain link, there it is 2440 right now. Uh, you know, lots of ups and downs in the last couple of weeks, still so much value out of the chain link ecosystem. I think there's no doubt that we see chain link in the next couple of years continue on this push up right now, though, like I said, we are seeing a struggle from chain link and so many other altcoins as Bitcoin also, uh, you know, had that the most recent push to about 57, 58 K. I will say guys, if you guys have not already known this, I am not a financial advisor. So always do your own research before investing. I'm just here to bring you guys some of the biggest news in the space, and then hopefully give you guys ideas of what to be watching out for, what to be looking for. And uh, Solana is one of those that in my opinion is definitely one to be looking for. I want to talk about a little bit more into Solana and the news regarding Solana.com. If we go to Solana.com, they talk about the powerful for developers fast for everyone. So really Solana is a decentralized blockchain built to enable scalable user-friendly apps for the world. We usually jump into some news and articles by now, but I kind of want to jump into the website. A lot of people miss out on the websites. They don't read through them. And I have some points that I just want to really kind of point out real quickly. So 
The big thing that Solana does better than almost everyone else is the transactions per second being 2,079, and that's continuing to increase, by the way. They have total transactions obviously increasing so, so rapidly, 1,000 every second, it seems like, for the most part. Average cost per transaction being 0 0.00025, and then having 1,060 validator nodes if we take a look at the right side. So that is quite a bit of validator nodes, and you can see why Solana is that powerful and why developers are starting to use Solana as that decentralized blockchain. And, you know, they see that it's the fastest growing ecosystem. You can see some of the projects here. There are tons of projects, um, you know, MetaMarket, MetaPlex, Soul Survivor, Sopro X, Sonar, um, Moon, Lana, Soul Dragon, Spider Swap. You know, I could go throughout all these projects forever, but, you know, they also talk about the scaling for global adoption, which is definitely one of the biggest things that takes place with Solana. So integration once and never worry about scaling again. Solana ensures composability between ecosystem projects by maintaining a single global state as the network scales. Never deal with fragmented layer two systems or sharded chains, which is definitely a benefit when dealing with an ecosystem like Solana. We see the low cost and forever. So Solana scalability ensures transactions remain less than 0.01 for both developers and users. They also talk about how it's fast and forever, like we said. And, uh, you know, they always like this idea of forever because it kind of gives you that idea of stability, right? It gives you that idea of security where it's going to remain this way and you're not going to see massive, massive changes to their system or their ecosystem as a whole. So Solana is all about speed with 400 millisecond block times. And as hardware gets faster, so does the network. So that could be absolutely huge as well. I do want to jump back over to Solana and talk about the price predictions, though. So we're getting a little less bullish for the end of the year. I have noticed that with not just myself, but with the entire Twitter network as a whole. I've seen a lot of great analysts talking about how this year could still be a good positive, a net positive, but we're going to be needing, you know, a year or two to really see the biggest benefits from crypto in a lot of these guys' opinions. Obviously, these opinions can change very, very quickly. And my TA still suggests that we can still see a lot of great things coming in at the end of 2021, which, you know, is definitely a possibility. I think Solana could do maybe a 2x by the end of the year and maybe a 3x by the end of the bull market. But we're going to talk about specific price points so right now with where solana is located of 146 dollars i think solana could easily be pushing around 250 to 300 by the end of the year by the end of the bull market i'm suggesting solana as a 400 to 500 dollar price point which is close to that 3x we've talked about you know the potential behind uh you know solana we've talked about where it's going next but the market cap really is at that 44.4 billion dollars right now so it's quite a bit of money that needs to be put into solana to continue to see its progress at such a rapid pace you know solana had a massive massive push from July, what, July 23rd, $28, and then all the way up to uh, $214.96, September 8th. Just crazy that coins can do this. And, you know, if you've been in this space long enough, you'll know it can happen again and again and again. So make sure to stay up to date with all your crypto news by subscribing to the YouTube channel here, liking the video, and like I said, turning notifications on so you can stay up to date with the crypto space. I'll see you guys all in the next one.